Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is kind of one. Here's a cylinder that this is. I just did. I thought the carbon. Um, this is actually from Seafoam. I've been running. You can see it knocked most of the carbon off of that. Pretty good. Like this carbon falls off pretty easy. Like it cleans on the piston. That's Seafoam for you guys. And uh, also, really good news I'm happy about. Uh, I don't need to rebuild the engine. The rings are. A okay, so this weekend I might get this this uh, this swap done for the cam and order the gaskets next weekend. Do the carbon kit myself. Don't need really do nothing that bad. That's I'm pretty happy. I, stay warm. It's cold in this garage, and I'm marking up the bracket, which I might just take up to my brothers now. But the good news, but yeah, if you look, seafoam really works. Not gonna lie, is that that right there would have been all built up if I didn't run seafoam, and it just don't fall right off. That's seafoam, seafoam, the seafoam. That's pretty good. I will not lie. Seafoam, thumbs up. That crap. I don't have any sitting around. I'll show you the bottle. And uh, um. Blades off the deck. They need sharpen up the cams. But that starter, John, is getting another starter. I could get rebuilt. Ah. Um, I'm also picking up some more Milwaukee tools. And I'm going to restore this mowing deck. This is the paint job I did. I'm pretty shocked by it. But yeah, I will update. Seafoam's worth the money. If you ever go and run in your cylinder and your tractor, I recommend doing it. It's worth it's worth the money. Seven dollars a can. I ran it like a lot this year and it took some carbon off. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, comment, rate, strive for more. See you on the next one.